pull these out um, if it's inside. I actually bought this from Fashion File. This came uh, brand new. So obviously this bag is so hard to find and to get. All of those high-end designer brands you can find on here just in celebration of 200k. And I was taking some photos with me and Sophia, so I'll plop it in here so you guys can see. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Fashion Friday. And you can probably hear the girls downstairs right now because we're all excited because Mama just hit 200K subscribers. And I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all your love and support. Um, and before I get into today's video, which is probably one of my favorites, and I'm gonna tell you guys all the ways that I save money when buying luxury items, designer items, and uh, the places that I shop and the ways that I shop in how I buy all my luxury goods and then how I also buy designer that's on sale. So I'm really excited for today's video and going through all of that with you. So I have all of my pre-loved items out that I'm gonna be talking about today. Also giving you guys all of my tips when purchasing something pre-loved, what to look for, um, the sites that I shop on, and also of course Nordstrom Rack. It's like my favorite place of all time for shopping designer deals. So. We're gonna talk about all that today. Hope you guys are excited. Let's get started. I'm actually wearing my little dress here that I got from Fashion Nova. Yes, it's a little bit short. I'm not wearing it out. I'm just wearing it for today's video. I just wanted to throw on something cute and fun um, just in celebration of 200K. And I was taking some photos with me and Sophia, so I'll plop it in here so you guys can see. Put something a little bit more dressy, dressy uppy on today since I usually am quite casual in my videos. For today's celebration so again I'm gonna roll right into this video I'm not gonna make this intro super long the first thing I'm gonna start off with is Nordstrom rack so if you guys have been following my channel for a little bit now you know that I'm clearly just obsessed with Nordstrom rack and I've also got Ryan hooked on it now too and they just have so many great designer deals uh, that you can get so I'm on it like a hawk and I have it actually I want to show you guys as an app on your phone um, so I didn't even know that they had an app and then I just, I think I typed it in one day and I was like, what? So it's really nice um, that you can do that. I definitely find it a lot easier um, to shop sometimes when you can purchase it through an app. So Nordstrom Rack, I buy a lot of shoes. As you probably know, I buy all of my shoes. Probably, I don't think I've bought any of them over $80. Like they're all less than $80 that I purchase. And I think you guys know by now, I really love my handbags. So I think when I invest in a handbag that's quite expensive, um, I definitely find that I spend less money on pieces like clothing, shoes, where I can really save a lot of money. Um, so with things like that, I think it kind of makes a little bit more sense for me uh, when I do buy a high expensive luxury purchase um so you guys know i love louis vuitton and chanel so that's where i really try to save my money in other places um even with makeup i try to buy a lot of makeup when they have sales which i just ordered a ton of stuff from the vib sale um included 200k giveaway items so i'm really excited for that but i just want to show you um some of the things i just ordered actually from nordstrom rack so i got these michael kors wedges and they're so cute. I already took them out of like the packaging, but I just wanted to show you what they look like. So these are them right here. And they're so cute, so perfect for summer. And they actually have the little MK. Can you guys see that right there? So I thought those were really cute. And then I got them for $69. So it says 36% savings. So it tells you how much you save on here too. Love these. And then the other ones I got. This one right here, and I've never heard of this designer before. They have a lot of like miscellaneous shoes that I, you know, haven't heard of before, but just the cutest little shoes. Um, wedges especially, like I buy a lot of my wedges from there. So these ones are next, and these are just nude. I'll link them down below, and I just thought they were really comfortable too. Like when I put them on, um, this part here is very spongy, and they're just very comfortable, and they're not too high, which I like. Um, these will be really, really nice to wear this summer. And I actually, surprisingly, I don't have nude. I only have like a light pink uh, wedge. So I really wanted to invest into like a nice nude pair because these will go with so many different 
outfits. So you guys know this is my little clothing area, my little clothing rack. So I just have my shoes right below and I'm still looking for something to display them since I have so many Nordstrom Rack shoes now. But you guys would have seen these. I got these cute little wedges here before we went to Santa Monica. These are also from Nordstrom Rack, big savings as well. And I think they came another color too. And then I just recently got these from Nordstrom Rack and they have the lengths. And they just look really, really cute to wear for springtime. And then, like I said, right back here, these are my Sam Edelman. These are my favorite designer on Nordstrom Rack for shoes because they're so comfortable. I get asked all the time about these, um, and they really, really are comfortable. And these are like the rose pink. Um, so I'll leave a link down below on the, this pair of shoes here that I have because I've seen them. They're still on there. The only thing I find, you have to be quick um, when ordering because they run out of sizes is very fast that's the one thing I've noticed especially for clothes too and then these ones here oh I guess these are cut no these are still pink <laughs> um, but these ones right here just little wedges I also got those from Nordstrom Rack I told you guys I love booties there they are so I mean I got these ones for winter and I mean just because they they go so quickly I don't mind buying them in spring or summer if I'm gonna save some money um, these were below I think $80 as well like I said I have not spent over a hundred dollars on an item on Nordstrom Rack so I got these as well which look how cute these are for winter I definitely want to do like a little lookbook with booties and then these ones too oh my goodness look at these you guys these are adorable so I picked these up as well and um, I just oh I love I love the fur I think that's so cute and they're a really really nice color um, like a beige I'd say like a beigey pink color in person almost like a rose gold and then the other pair I got was this one um, I don't really wear these kinds of booties but I just thought they'd be really nice with like a pair of jeans and like a blazer or something but yeah you can definitely work these into like spring winter time so I just thought those were cute I'm almost doing like a shoe collection now because I've bought so much off Nordstrom Rack um, so I mean maybe if I get more shoes from there I'll definitely do like a little shoe collection once I buy something because I'm still trying to find something that'll be cute to have in my beauty room to display my shoes of course I do buy some of my clothes I say more shoes though than I buy clothes but I still do um, find some things on there I find clothes are a little bit harder to shop on there um, just because the sizes they usually don't have my size but I picked up this pink blouse this was also on sale and I'm just gonna put the prices on so you guys can see how much I paid uh, for these items but I just thought this would be very nice with like a pair of white jeans and springtime I've actually already worn it and I really like it uh, and then what else I got tees like I buy a lot of my more casual clothes I also have gotten leggings from there too they have really great prices on leggings this I actually just picked up from Nordstrom's, but I did also get a great price um, on this dress, which I know you guys would have seen this on my Insta stories because I got this for my brother's wedding and I'm so excited. It's in July and it's such a nice fitting dress. I'm actually waiting though for some nicer weather and once there's nicer weather, I'm going to put this on. It's going to be in my lookbook and I definitely want to do a spring favorite outfits. Uh, video before we get into summer so that is coming but I'm waiting for some nice weather so that was the first portion of today's video Nordstrom rack all the way you guys like I ah uh. I can't tell you enough good things about Nordstrom Rack. I feel so good anytime that I buy something from there and I get a good deal. So I really recommend shopping there. It's awesome. Like I said, not sponsored. Just really, really am happy shopping there, um, even being in Canada. So, I mean, it does take about a week for me to get my, uh, my package, my order. But they also ship everything individually if something is quicker than the rest. So they don't wait. They actually ship everything to you really quickly. So, I mean, I just, I, I love, love, love shopping there. Um, so that's why I wanted to talk about that in today's video and then also in the second portion of this I'm going to tell you guys how I buy pre-loved items a few of my items in my collection are pre-loved and I definitely have some tips when it comes to buying pre-loved items that I've learned um so yeah now, obviously, you guys have seen a lot of my collection in my videos. I've done so many videos now showing you, like, all of the purses that I have and my favorite pieces and so forth. But I haven't really talked to you guys about what I have purchased pre-loved and where I purchased it from. Um, I know I've talked about Fashion File a little bit. 
um, but I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit more about how I buy something off of a pre-loved website and what I look for. Um, so starting off right here, this is actually a pre-loved item, this little micro Dior bag. This one right here, I mean, it's super cute. Super, super cute. And I know I've talked about this before. Did I know it was going to be this small? No, I didn't. I honestly, I wasn't even looking at the word micro. And I just thought it was the larger bag. And I thought I was getting a really good deal on it. But um, I'm still happy I purchased it. So let me grab this. Yeah, like when I got it though, Ryan was like, oh my god, that's the smallest bag I've ever seen. It's actually so small, but I'm happy I got it because it's just such a cute bag. It reminds me of my girls. I know I've said that in one of my videos before. Um, now I find something to look for when purchasing something off fashion file and that is what i purchased this on is fashion file um they have like brand new items and then they also have gently used so just to mention they also have an app that's what i use to find and purchase um items from there because i really do i'm that type of person i need to look scroll through like 80 pages to find something i really like if i'm gonna buy pre-loved um because i mean at the same time when it comes to buying something luxury of course i love things to come brand new I want it to be pretty taken care of and i don't want to see like any damages i want it to feel like i've actually just purchased it from the store um so i definitely look for items like um so when it says very good i never buy something that says very good because if you actually look at the photos and it'll say what's wrong with it they always have a description on what's you know the damages of the bag but if it says very good i find there's too many damages um so the ones that i look for are excellent or new like that is the only two that i will buy off fashion file um i've even bought in something that said excellent and it still had a stain on it so you have to be very careful you really have to look um at the images very closely but they always specify if there is something so i mean i bought i'll show you in a second here but um you just have to really read the description to see what's wrong with the bags because some, sometimes you won't see it in the photos but um i find they do take really good photos i mean of the of the pieces uh, but I just yeah, you de you just have to really look because I find if you're buying something pre-loved It might as well be like new or just be in really great condition um, Unless you're buying something super vintage that like is extremely hard to get um, Anymore and you just want to have the item then yeah, I understand uh, and I mean, I think only if in a cer certain circumstance, I would buy something like that if it was damaged inside. Now on the outside, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm so picky when it comes to bags and just having them be pristine and great condition because like I said, I'm all about um, resale when I, when I buy high-end luxury items like Chanel bags. Um, I want to make sure that they're going to hold their value and if, you know, me and Sophia want to sell them or keep them one day, then so be it um but i want to keep them really really pristine and in great condition i mean i just wanted to make this video because if you are thinking about buying something pre-loved i think that's a great way to save some money and it just takes some looking and uh comparing i mean you can go to different sites there's is it yoji's closet i'll link down three below that i like so uh fashion file being one of them there's obviously the real real which is really popular and well known um and then also yoji's closet so i mean there's definitely three great options there but i have done shopping on fashion file and i've been pretty happy with it so far so this one right here is the little dior micro bag that i got um now the inside uh, it had like a little, I mean, it's not much, a little damage from opening and closing uh, the button here. And then on the inside here, it even came with the card still, but I found like there to be a little bit of damage like right in this area here. And then it also came with like the little bag too, which is inside. So, I mean, there's not too much damage on here in this when I bought it, it said excellent. So it's not like it said brand new. Um, so I definitely think this was a nice purchase for me. And I know for these bags especially, they're really, really hard to get and find. Um, I've even, I think they're called a D Diorama. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's so funny though, I booked my eyebrow appointment, my waxing, and my nail fill. It's in an hour, so bear with me because my nails are so long in this video. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to continue with talking about uh, this little bag that I have right here. So I did get pretty big savings on it. And like I said, it almost came brand new. Like it came in really great condition, but you definitely uh, want to make sure that you just read, obviously, um, the size of the bag and everything like that. I didn't realize it was so small. I would have got the larger one if they did have it. Um, but like I said, I did get it for a good price. So I got that. So the next item that I got off fashion 
fashion file is this bag right here so you guys would have seen this in my last video here it's one of my favorite luxury pieces that i own um like i said this print is my favorite print of all time that louis vuitton ever came out with so this was actually like this actually had excellent but i would say this is like new like there is nothing nothing wrong with this at all like the entire lining right here is completely white as well but pieces like this go so quick on fashion file and especially anything chanel anything chanel um, um, anything limited edition or multicolor, like I see these items go really quickly if they're in great condition. So the funny thing, this I actually paid for how much it would have been buying it in the store at full price. Um, so it was over $500, but I mean, oh, like I said, that is why I buy things like this because they hold their value. And even if, you know, um, you can't get these anymore, they are just as much as if you were buying it from the store. Um, so they really hold their value great if you keep them in great condition. So I, when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. And I have never seen one that is almost per, like in mint condition. So I was really happy about this. Like I said, you really just have to look um, at the photos. I looked really closely and I didn't see anything wrong. So that was probably one of my favorite purchases buying pre-loved. This bag here I wear so much. I wear this anytime we go out for dinner. And I love the fact you can wear it on your shoulder, but it also has the long strap. Um, and I find the clutch is just such a beautiful color. It's a really nice like nude pink color. And then also on the front here, we have the big logo, which I really like. It stands out a lot, um, especially if I'm just wearing something that's not as fancy. This bag will stand out no matter what. Um, so, I mean, this is just a beautiful bag and I got this off fashion file as well. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to open it up now. There was damage to this bag. So if you look up close, can you see the makeup? I didn't do that. So this was already on the bag. Like I said, you really have to just take into consideration like how hard the bag is to find or get. And they don't sell this anymore in the store. Um, so obviously this is a harder bag to get. So I just took that into consideration and I did purchase it even though I knew this was there. Um, but that's actually the only, the only flaw with the bag. So it has like a little zipper right inside here. Um, the structure of the bag is also in great condition. And I believe this said excellent when I purchased it because like I said to you guys, I never buy something unless it says excellent or brand new um, on their site. So I think it said excellent, but I think it's still in great condition. But I mean, some people obviously would not like that there being a stain on the inside. So um, I just took, I mean, obviously this bag is so hard to find and to get. And I've been wanting this bag for a while now and I just had to, I had to grab it. So I got it for a great price too. So I was really happy with the condition. Make sure that it's not very visible uh, where the stain is or if there's damage or anything like that. Like you don't want it to be on the front of the bag. I've actually seen some Chanel bags on Fashion File where like there's major damage in the front of the bag and people still buy them. I'm like, what? There's this one bag I saw and it was this kind of, um, this kind of finish as well, like a shiny finish and it had a massive mark on the front and it was purchased. So I always like watching that because I'm like, who, who would buy it like that? But I mean, you, if it's a bag that someone's really wanted and they can't get anymore that's what i mean people do invest into purchasing those items um, even if they are damaged because they're just so hard to get okay so next item i have right here this is actually the only chanel item that i've purchased uh pre-loved on fashion files so it came in the box just like this and it came with a pouch you guys would have seen this i'm just gonna put it back in here to make it look like i'm doing a little unboxing so it came with the little bag and then it does come with like the authentic card which I mean you definitely want to look for a lot of Chanel bags that don't include those because people have lost them so I mean if you're ever planning on reselling I would highly recommend to keep that make sure you keep it because people look for that when they're buying pre-loved um, but yeah this is the wallet you guys would have seen this in my uh, videos before so I actually bought this from fashion file this came uh, brand new so this is one of the items that I actually bought that was brand new and uh, when purchasing Chanel like I said I I definitely want to get something that's in pristine condition so there was not a touch nothing on this at all um it came perfect so i just want to show you guys up close can you see here and this is the inside here came in great condition i was really really happy when i got this and i mean obviously this was still very expensive because it holds its value um so i think i paid around 650 for this which is what you'd buy it in the store 
um, but this is the Lee Boy wallet and I just love this style. I don't have anything from that collection so I just thought this would be really really nice to have. Um, something different that I'm not really used to. I really love this design and it's just so different and a lot of the Lee Boy bags too are so expensive so I was excited to get like a smaller little piece um, from that collection. Items off Fashion File. I always look for if they come in the box. That's also another important thing because I love opening something and it's like you're just shopping or you're getting it from the store. So I always look that it comes in in the box, the original box. Um, so that also is another perk to when I purchase. And then I also want to make sure that if it does have an authentic uh, card that it comes with it. Um, so I also think that's very important. But yeah, this was one of my favorite purchases off their website. My Prada wallet. So I got this pre-loved as well off Fashion File. And I went through my little obsession, like after I bought something that was in really great uh, condition, I was like, wow, like it's almost like I'm shopping brand new. So I was really happy about that. And I mean, this wallet did come a little bit more damaged than the one I just showed you. This had excellent, it wasn't brand new. Um, so I mean, yeah, obviously it was a little bit used. Um, but hardly like it still had I remember before when I bought this wallet it actually still had like the little fake cards in here So that's how you know, it's also like hardly been used Um, and then yeah, I just have some I actually used this wallet when I went to Vancouver and I loved it It's a great size too and It came in the Prada box. So I just want to show you it came with everything though This is like how it came it came with a cloth as well. Um, so I did get everything tiny tiny little damage on the front here but I mean you really can't see it um, a lot like it's not a big deal to me but um, I did get this for a really good price like I think this was the lowest priced item that I got off there I think this was only like $300 so I did get this like I got this at huge savings so another thing that they do is if something doesn't sell it goes 10% off sale 15% 20% um, so I think I got this when it was at 10% so meaning it, it wasn't selling on their site so they discounted it even more so I was really happy about that I'm surprised because I really love this wallet. This next item here, you guys have seen tons in my photos, in my videos, and it's these right here, my first ever pair of Lubus, and I did purchase them off Fashion File. Now, it's really funny because obviously shoes are very, it's a very interesting item to purchase um, pre-loved, right? So you wanna definitely make sure that they have not been worn, not been used, and these were actually, um, I bought these at Excellent. They weren't brand new, but they were excellent and they came in great condition. Um, so I mean, okay, I'm funny with these kinds of things. I actually don't wear these shoes at all and I don't plan on wearing these at all. They're actually used for decor. So when designing my closet and everything that I was planning on doing with my shelving units, as you know, they're from Ikea. And once I got a layout and I wanted to decorate it and everything like that, I wanted to actually decorate it with some shoes and that's why I have it on this ottoman. It's actually used as decor. I did want to have a really beautiful pair of shoes that would keep me inspired and motivated and I mean these shoes are just beautiful you guys. So yes, I'm weird. I like to display my shoes and just not even wear them but I knew that's what was going to go down with these pair of shoes when I bought them um, and I would just be so scared to wear these out like if I were to damage them so I just want to keep them in really great condition I mean if, if I ever if we had some really big fancy occasion to go to I might pull these out um, if it's inside but yeah they're in great condition though if you guys see up close here they hardly may have been worn like a few times and that's it even the inside of the shoe is really great too but I totally get like if you're a little bit iffy about buying shoes because they have been worn, someone else's feet have been in there. So I totally understand that. And I would definitely, if you were to buy pre-loved shoes, I would look for either getting them like brand new where it means they have not been touched um, or used and like they literally look mint condition. So that's what I would definitely look for. Um, but I just want to show you them because they are just so beautiful. And I'll leave a link down below on um, what these are ca called because I, I completely forget. Uh, but yeah, they are stunning. They're a beautiful baby pink. <laughs> about to feed the girls. I only have a few minutes here left. Um, and it's actually about another super mom that I know here on YouTube. Her name is Keisha and she actually has a brand new YouTube channel that she just started. So I want to share it on the screen here. So make sure you guys go subscribe, go follow her. Um, she's going to have great content. She's also a mom of three. Um, so I know she's going to be making like mommy videos, but she's also really into fashion like I am. So you'll get the best of both worlds. She actually sent me a gift, you guys, and I nearly died opening this. I could not believe 
this was in my P.O. box and she actually got me something from Louis Vuitton and she clearly has been listening to my videos because if you've been watching you know I love bag tags and luggage tags and I collect them and I actually have a bunch of them up there that I have like from HomeSense I buy them in sets um, have I ever owned a luxury one no I've never owned a luxury one so honestly I was blown away when I opened this I know Ryan saw my face and I was just like in shock. I was speechless actually, I couldn't speak. Um, so she got me this beautiful Louis Vuitton luggage tag right here, you guys. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get up really close so you guys can see. Look how gorgeous this is. And I'm gonna get the girl's names engraved right here in gold, which will look so pretty. Um, and I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful for the most amazing subscribers and um, I'm just oh my goodness you guys I'm still in shock to quickly say thank you so much Keisha and I read your card It was so thoughtful and she said that I inspired her to start her own YouTube channel So I was very moved and touched by that and anyone that's starting out their Did YouTube you? channel And shed some you know, love I just get so plan. proud. That's my influencer. Um, I know it takes a lot of guts and a lot of work um, to starting your own channel. So I just find that's amazing and I'm so excited for you on your YouTube journey. So thank you so much for this kind gift. Go subscribe to her channel, you guys. It mean a lot to me and yeah. As I told you guys, when we hit the 200K mark, I was gonna be doing a massive giveaway. So that is coming up next week. And if I get everything here on time, as you know, I ordered a ton of things for the VIB sale uh, with Sephora. So I'm hoping it gets here sooner than later because then I can do the big giveaway for you. Um, I'm also including this vlogging camera, a brand new one, a G7X Canon. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna make this its own video. Um, I probably will upload it on a day, not Monday or Friday because I already have that schedule. So you'll just, maybe maybe it'll just come in the middle of the week, maybe on like a Wednesday or something. But I am so excited to do this big giveaway with you guys and I hope you enter. It's gonna be a very big one, biggest one I've ever done um, to celebrate 200K with you. I honestly, I love doing giveaways so much. You guys know I love to give back to you and I'm doing giveaways constantly on my SL Miss Glam Beauty page um, for my makeup brushes. So I'm constantly sending out glam packages and making sure that I'm giving back as much as I can um, as fre frequently as I can as well. So I hope you guys have been enjoying my giveaways and I'm so excited for this really big one. If you want me to do more like designer deal videos, please let me know. I think they're so great to do. I actually have another Nordstrom haul coming in so that'll be in an upcoming video. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again so much for 200k. It makes me so happy that we got to the, that milestone together and I'm just so happy that you guys are loving the content that I'm putting out there and sharing with you and we can just bond to a whole different level and I mean like I said I always get back to you guys in my comment section so make sure you guys go leave love there and it's just so nice just so nice that we hit that milestone together so i just want to say thank you again and of course i will see you guys on makeup monday